Before I accessed the treatment, I had been um, suffering with relatively low level depression, uh, lack of self-confidence, issues I think that were exacerbated by situation within the family. Um, mother very old, needing a lot of looking after, changes from working to not working. Things that can negatively impact someone's mental health might really vary. Um, we might notice that it could be something like a bereavement um, or something like a change in role, becoming a carer for instance, or retirement. Um, if people have long-term health conditions, we often know that that increases their likelihood of having a mental health difficulty. Um, but equally, sometimes we know that there is no real trigger um, and it can just happen of its own accord. It got to the point where my family decided that I really had to do something about it because like so many people it takes something external to get you to take action. In my experience one of the main difficulties can be recognition and often we notice older people might recognise um, sort of more severe and enduring mental health illnesses as mental health problems whereas actually things like stress of dealing with and um, caring for a loved one or a long-term health condition or feeling quite low are just as important if that's something that you're struggling with and do come forwards because it's something that you can get some help with um, and is treatable. It's when you realise that you're having an effect on other people that the understanding comes that the issues actually need to be looked at and it's always difficult to admit to yourself that the situation is such that it needs some outside intervention. Get to the point where you realise that uh, action has to be taken. But there might be an attitude of, of, you know, that's not for me, this kind of keep calm and carry on attitude that you might have grown up with. I, I've never accessed therapy before, I'll just do what I've always done. And, and it's really just sort of letting you know it's not something that you have to put up with and there is treatment available, it can be very effective for people and it can just help you live a better quality of life. I had the usual impressions from the media, from films, movies, of the kind of treatment that you get which is somebody lying down on a couch. It wasn't like that at all. In fact it was very straightforward. The people who did it were very understanding, non-judgmental, it was well organised, firstly in the group, and secondly, when I had the individual therapist. Talking therapies can be life-changing for people. Um, we often hear from patients at the end of therapy that they just feel more like themselves again. Um, and this might be something that other people have picked up on as well as themselves. Um, we often notice that they are more connected with people again, people in their families or their spouses or loved ones. Um, or they might just be more able to do the things that they used to do or things that they've not done for many years. It's enabled me to understand some of the issues underlying my uh, particular situation. It's uh, given me a number of tools that uh, enabled me to cope better, understand better, and uh, react with other people better. Depression and anxiety are really treatable, um, and it's not something that you have to put up with. And a lot of the treatments that we offer are very um, practical, short term, and the therapist will go through with you step by step. Um, and they can really help and that you know you can get better quality of life you don't have to feel this way. My advice to someone thinking about seeking help would be that there is help available that it's not embarrassing to have to do it that very many people are in a situation where they need help they should get help that the people who do it are very understanding because that's what they deal with and anything you might say will never come as a surprise because whatever you say they will undoubtedly have heard far far worse. Um, I'd encourage you to seek help um, and get some support from the clinicians that we have and really working with you to establish what your goals are and helping you develop a toolkit for managing stress, anxiety, low mood um, in your life.